Hey lovelies, I'm back with another video and as you see from the title, this did not go how I expected it to go and my face is already showing that. That is so funny, it's like I already knew I was about to do a bowl on my hair. But anyways, I'm going to prep my hair for washing. I usually rinse my hair like drenched in water and I start off with a clarifying shampoo when I know that I have a lot of product build up on my hair and especially if I haven't washed my hair in a good minute, I'm going to start off with a clarifying shampoo and make sure I get my scalp most importantly. So I go ahead and section my hair. I hope you can see that but I'm sectioning my hair and I'm focusing on my scalp. I'm making sure that I pull my hair downwards because I do not want to tangle up my hair as I'm shampooing and I rinse that out and go in with a moisturizing shampoo. I detangle with this moisturizing shampoo by Design Essentials. Oh, this has so much slip. I absolutely love the shampoo. And I begin to detangle finger, detangle my hair and make sure I get my scalp as well and once i rinse that out i want to show you what my curls look like so you get an idea of my curl pattern how my hair drops basically what it looks like before i flat iron it i think that's very important and now i'm gonna go in with my deep conditioning mask i don't condition if i know i'm going to do a deep conditioner i just don't add that extra step of adding a washout conditioner if I'm just going to deep condition my hair. Now if I don't plan on deep conditioning my hair, I'll just do a, a washout conditioner and go about my day and that basically ends my wash day routine. The hair, I'm using a deep conditioner so I'm going to section my hair. I usually section my hair into six sections as I work the deep conditioner through my strands like just basically dispersing it evenly throughout my hair and I use a dimming brush to make sure I'm doing exactly that. When my hair was shorter, I'll just brush the product through my hair without sectioning my hair but because it's a little longer, I want to make sure I'm working it in and right here, I just give it one more work through my hair with the denim brush before I add the cap to my head so I can go sit under the dryer for 15 minutes in deep condition. And once I finish sitting under the dryer, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the deep conditioner from my hair and just go about my regular hygiene, you know, showering routine. Now, I wrap my hair with a t-shirt and I begin this process now this process I have done multiple times on my channel I'll link some below in the description bar and some up here of how I roll it at my hair I'm not gonna go into full details on how I do that in this video just because the flat iron did not come out how it was supposed to but I like to use indirect heat on my hair I'm using leave-in conditioner now okay I usually use this process when I'm blow drying my hair to flat iron as you can see i added oil to my hair i'm basically doing the process that i would be doing if i blow dry my hair to flat iron i would use this leave-in conditioner and i would use this oil to blow dry my hair and then begin the flat ironing process with me roller setting my hair, I should have just stuck to my wrap and roll foam wrap by Jane Carter's and called it a day or just roller set my hair with just pure water and that was it. I could have just even stopped at the leave-in conditioner. I didn't have to add the oil. I really just was not thinking at this moment at all. When I sit under the dryer, it's not direct heat. So it's not taking out the moisture that I want to keep in my hair. It's actually helping the moisture penetrate into my strands. It's helping the oil seal that moisture into my strands. And it's, it's going to show. You're going to see that. You are definitely going to see that within this video. So this is basically where I messed up. I added too much oil, way too much oil. I should have just never used the oil at all. If I wanted to add product in my hair, I should have just used the leave-in conditioner or my wrap and roll foam and called it a day. So I'm like really, really upset. And I wasn't gonna upload this video because this is truly a failed video, but my mom and husband was like, go ahead and do it. And here I go messing up my hair again. Look at that. Oh no. 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 Oh no.
the dance. But anyways, um, my husband and my mom was like, upload it. People should be able to see you fail and you succeed. There's nothing wrong with showing your mistakes and where you went wrong and what you did wrong. But it just does not stop here. When I took this roller set down, I was so hyped. Like, you don't even understand. You're going to see. You're going to see. I was extremely hyped. I'm like, oh, my hair about to come out bomb. My hair feels so, so up. I should have did this before. Like, I was really gassed. I was really hyped. And I shut my whole self down when it came to the flat iron process. Like, I already knew once I did that first pass with the flat iron that I messed up. I knew. I knew it from there. So just keep watching. When, when that time comes, I'm going to speak again. But right now, I'm going to be quiet. Roller set complete. I'm going to add this heat protectant on my hair and set in a dryer. I was under there for like 30, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And my hair was fully dry. I'm taking it out. And like I say, you're going to see how hype I am once I finish taking it out and brushing my curls out. Like the way my hair looks so full and fluffy, it was just like, girl, you did that. You did that. You, you looking like little curly suit, but you did that. You afro on point. Like I was super hype. I was excited and everything i was excited and for those that said that i was gonna wrap my hair you are exactly right i did wrap my hair for the next day it was just because i was lazy so yeah i was right i did wrap it up but it was actually for the flat iron so those who pick flat iron is right as well double win okay <laughs> i'm annoying <laughs> So I'm beginning my flat iron process by basically going ahead with the hot comb. I was looking for my hot comb that she put on the stove, but I couldn't find it. So I had to use this electric one. It wasn't really doing too much or nothing, but it was getting what I wanted to get done. Kind of. Yeah, I could have went out. I could have went without this process, to be honest with you guys. I separated my hair in half and then I'm going to separate it again and you know the process I usually se separate my hair into four sections so this is where I knew this is where I knew I went wrong <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> You see all of that smoke? It's from the oil. My hair is smoking because of the oil that's on my hair, okay? That is on my hair. And because of the product builder that's on the flat iron as well, but mainly because of the oil on my hair. Make sure you guys clean your flat iron. That's important. Like, I'm gonna look up how to clean your flat iron plates because if you wonder, like, why is my hair smoking so much? It could be whatever product that's left over on the flat iron plate as well. Okay, okay. So one half of my hair is done, it's flat ironed. Do you see how limp it looks? Do you see this mess? Do you see it? And I know y'all can see my split ends from here. I know y'all can see it. So we are gonna go ahead and complete the other half of my head. And this is how it looks, okay? Um, this is not a fresh flat iron. I was like eating and stuff like that before I came back on camera. But look at the back of my head, yo. Like when my hair was this limp, you see how it does not look as thin as it looks here? this is ridiculous like this looks so bad my hair looks see-through it looks bad and i don't know what happened like i don't know what's going on with my hair why my hair looks so thin and bad and i know you're gonna be like oh it's oil and a flat iron but remember guys who've been with me on my channel for a while knows i used to use jamaican black castor oil that thick oil as a heat protectant on my hair before i flat ironed and my hair never looked the way it looks in this video it never my hair looked like you know way down and thin but not like this not see through like this like my hair looks so bad and in that clip that y'all saw me comparing my hair before when I was using black Jamaican castor oil Jamaican black castor oil whatever and how it looks now 
I know my hair was flipped under but my hair was about the same length that it was in this video and as well my hair was also cut in a bad like cut my hair was almost like the same cut it was even worse back then than the cut that I have now so for it to look the way it looks now is ridiculous like my hair was cut kind of like in a mullet then and my hair is cut kind of like a mullet now so my hair just looks bad i thought doing this trim would help basically i kind of like cut and chop my hair again just to get the bad split ends off as i know you guys saw it but i'm just really really confused like even in the middle of my head like my crown it looks like it's balding there like i don't know what's going on but you know i curl my hair every time i do a flat iron for the most part and i'm just like oh i really hope these curls save the way my hair looked it really did not but whatever i did it i curled my hair and i wrapped it and this is basically the finished result of this flat iron and trim so going forward i'm just gonna be taking care of my hair better like i'm gonna actually try to take care of my hair now and i'm gonna see what it starts to look like going forward so i'm gonna be updating you guys that actually care through my instagram stories weekly or monthly and on here you'll be seeing a natural hair update every three months basically to see how my hair is looking how it's growing and if it's thickening up because that is very important to me the health of my hair is more important than the length of my hair but that's it lovelies until next time later